Day 9, Evening, Wisdom Verses Stolen water is sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant, but he does not know that the dead are there, that her guests are in the depths of hell. Proverbs 9, verses 17 and 18 The number of unmarried couples living together has risen in the United States from 439,000 in 1960 to 5,500,000 in the year 2000, an increase of 1,153%. In Proverbs 9, we see again that wisdom is personified as a woman, but in the, half, in the last half we see another woman called Foley. She also sits in the highest places in the city, calling out to the masses to come to her house. This foolish woman is described as loud, simple, and knows nothing. Like the immoral woman in Proverbs 7, she makes promises that are empty and lead to death. I am distressed that the call of this foolish woman is making in an impact in the United States. According to a 2013 Gallup poll, the number of people who said gay and lesbian relationships were okay has moved from 40% 12 years ago to almost 60% today. About 40% of Americans felt having a baby outside of marriage was morally acceptable in 2001. Today, it has jumped up to 60%. Stolen water is not sweet. It is poison. Bread eaten in secret is not pleasant. It will destroy you. Too many are seduced by a false allure of immoral living and believe they can avoid negative consequences. It is a sad commentary to see so many broken marriages. There has been a huge increase in sexually transmitted diseases as well. People scarcely react to the news of adultery, fornication, prostitution, and new behavior. God looks with disgust on the pollution that has been poured all over sight. We can see this by looking at the judgments against Israel when they camped at the Jordan. During Moses' final days, Midianite women came into the camp and seduced the men of Israel to participate in vulgar acts of idolatrous worship. If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy them. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. 1 Corinthians chapter, 13, verse, chapter, thir chapter 3 verse 17. This reminds me of Samson allowing himself to be caressed to sleep on the little lap of Delilah. This man chosen by God became curseless in following wise counsel. By feasting on the secret bread and stolen waters, Samson lost his strength and then his eyes. The morally blind person does not know that, that the dead are there, that her guests are in the depths of hell. Wisdom is not blind. For by me your days will be multiplied and the years of life will be added to you. Verse 11. When foolishness calls to you, turn away. Follow in the path of life. Lord, every day I want to eat the bread of life. I turn my heart to Jesus, the only water that will quench my deepest thirst. Thank you for coming to us on day 9 in the evening. We hope that you had a good day today. Make sure that you write in the comments the verse that spoke to you. And be sure to follow this account so that you can be up to date on, today's, on the daily devotional. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Until then, God bless you.